Hey there and welcome back to studying for the 2022 to 2026 technician level amateur license exam. We are now in sub element C from element one and for which license classes are new licenses currently available from the FCC. Long time ago there were a lot more but right now there's technician, general, and amateur extra. Do want to remind you that section uh, element one is mostly memorization of rules. So there's no formulas. There's you just have to remember these. Who may select a desired call sign under the vanity call sign rules? Any licensed amateur. You can get a vanity call sign. I used to be KK4FGM. I wanted my initials, so I went with W1. RCP. Nowadays you don't have to get a call in your call area which South Georgia or Georgia uh, the southeast is mostly foreland but I couldn't get a W4 RCP it was already taken so I, I chose a W1 it's I'm a non-traditionalist in that in that uh, there are some people who prefer that but it is no longer a FCC requirement. So any licensed amateur, as a technician, you can only select a, a vanity call sign from what's called a, a, a level D. And basically, I think that's a two by two. So you can go look those up on the uh, internet and find out what you can request. Question number three, what types of international communications are an FCC licensed amateur radio station permitted to make? On this one, communications incidental to the purposes of the amateur radio service and remarks of a personal character. That is the correct answer. So you can talk about amateur radio or anything you want to as long as it is of your personal character. Now, as a convenience, religion and politics should be kept out of amateur radio. That's just the way it is. Um, there's nothing stopping you from talking about it. So just be aware that arguments may arise. <laughs> Number four, what may happen if the FCC is unable to reach you by email? Oh my gosh, it used to be by mail. Now it's by email. Of course, you'll know uh, reading through some of the stuff that you found on the web while trying to find out about how to study for the FCC licenses uh, brought to you by the NCVEC and the VEs that coordinate all this. Um, it used to be by mail. Now it is by email. They don't send you much in the mail anymore. But if they cannot contact you by email, they will revoke your license or suspend your license. So make sure that you have a good email address on file in the ULS filing system. So that is the correct answer, it is B. Which of the following is a valid technician class call sign format? These are sequentially issued and I was KK4 and now here in, in the four land, we're all the way up to Kilo Quebec. And so um, I think there's even some, uh, I think we're getting real close to being through with Kilo Quebec's already by the time this airs. Uh, so which of the following is valid? It is Kilo Fox 1, and that's the number, followed by three alpha letters. So alphabet letters. That is the correct answer. The rest of these would be either vanity or someone who was an extra or general. Okay, so question number six from sub element C, from which of the following locations may an FCC licensed amateur radio or amateur station transmit? And out of these choices, it is from any vessel or craft located in international waters and documented or registered in the United States. So as long as you're in your craft in international waters, you can operate. 
check out part 97 of the FCC rules to find more information about that. Which of the following can result in revocation of the station license or suspension of the operator license? Guess what? This is the answer in the form of a question that we just went over. Failure to provide and maintain a correct email address with the FCC. And correct meaning correct that they can get to you. Question number eight is what is the normal term for an FCC issued amateur radio license? Ten years. You renew every ten years for ten years. Now if you do get a vanity license there is depending on how long you had your general or your technician license if you get a vanity it is automatically extended for another 10 years so if you had been a technician for three years you're not going to have to renew if you get that vanity call sign you you will still have another 10 years what is the grace period for renewal if an amateur license expires if your license expires you can't operate but you do have a grace period to get that call sign to keep your call sign and you uh, shouldn't have to retest after that two years you're on your own starting over so make sure you renew your license question 10 how soon after passing the examination for your first amateur radio license may you transmit on the amateur radio bands you cannot use your ooh look at me i passed paper as your license it must appear in the fcc license database and that is searchable online and trust me you will look at it every 15 to 20 minutes until you get that license and the last one for sub element c for element one is if your license has expired and is still within the allowable grace period two years may you continue to transmit on the amateur radio bands the correct answer is no you must wait until the license has been renewed and you do that through the fcc's filing system so this has been video number three we are still in element one for the technician exam for 2022 to 2026 and we have just made it to sub element three which is also sub element c which one's which one's forward that one's c Alrighty, so check back often i'll be posting these periodically as we work our way through the technician license that's the most important it's the introductory one and we hope that and we being me i hope that these are helpful to you if this is helpful please hit a like if uh, you want to get notifications please like and subscribe and click that bell if you don't want notifications don't click the bell get the bell with a line through it and that's okay because that helps me and my channel out hey thank you so much for coming back we will get to the next subsection soon sub element let's go and 73 from w1rcp